Hey guys, this is Pesh from Bebom.com and Samsung recently unveiled the new Galaxy S20 FE aka Fan Edition flagship and well this is it right here. This is the new Galaxy S20 FE and when I first received it, I had two questions in my mind. First, is the Galaxy S20 FE a true Fan Edition smartphone? Second, how is the Galaxy S20 FE different from other S20 flagships? Well, I'm going to take it one by one, so let's begin. Okay, so first up, how is this a true Fan Edition smartphone? See, the first thing everyone wants in a Samsung flagship is Super AMOLED plus high refresh rate and the Galaxy S20 FE brings exactly that. This here is a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED FHD plus display with the 120Hz refresh rate, 240Hz touch sampling and well that's pretty awesome exactly what the fans want. Now it's not just the display, the Galaxy S20 FE design has a lot of other flagship features that not just fans, every one of us wants. So the Galaxy S20 FE has the IP68 water and dust resistance rating, fast wireless charging support even with its plastic back and there are good loud stereo speakers. Now all of these are actually true flagship features. Now another thing fans want is great camera performance. So on the specs front, the S20 FE has a 12 megapixel main camera with OIS an 8 megapixel telephoto lens with OIS and a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. Now, what's not here also makes the Galaxy S20 FE a true fan edition phone. I'm talking about the fact that there are no useless 2 megapixel depth or macro lenses. Yeah, those are clearly not something fans want. Also, I know there's no 64 megapixel or 108 megapixel camera, but everyone wants great camera quality. And so far, it looks like the S20 FE actually has nice camera performance. Here are a few shots from the phone and granted I've only taken a few shots but they actually look like shots taken from a flagship or high-end camera phone. The Galaxy S20 FE also has the latest Samsung software. There's the latest One UI 2.5 which supports new features like wireless decks along with of course the usual wired decks. So again, that's great. Lastly, what would make a phone truly fan edition is flagship specs and the Galaxy S20 FE comes with Samsung's flagship specs. This is the Indian variant of the phone, so it's powered by the Exynos 990 chipset with up to 8GB RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Now, I know there's the whole debate of Exynos versus Snapdragon and honestly, I feel the Snapdragon 865 would have truly made this phone fan favorite. But the reason I said Samsung's flagship specs is because the Exynos 990 is Samsung's flagship processor that powers the Note 20 Ultra, the S20 Ultra in India, so I guess that's okay. Having said that, there's actually one fan favorite feature that's still missing in the Galaxy S20 FE and that's the headphone jack. Yeah, there's no headphone jack, just saying. So overall, the Galaxy S20 FE brings what it takes to become a true fan edition device. Like I said, the Snapdragon 865 would have truly solidified that. But yeah, the S20 FE comes close to being the true blue fan edition device. Now question number two, how is the Galaxy S20 FE different from the Galaxy S20, the S20 Plus and the S20 Ultra? Well, the S20 FE is Samsung's affordable flagship, so there are some cost cutting measures here and there that make it different to the other S20 flagships. First up, there are two differences on the design front. So here's the Galaxy S20 FE next to the S20 Plus and S20 Ultra. And as you can see, the S20 FE looks quite different. See, the biggest difference here is that the Galaxy S20 FE has a plastic back. So yes, it's not as premium as say the S20, but I'll tell you what, this is not a cheap looking plastic. It's matte, so I like the finish and the new colors look definitely cool. Another difference is that the Galaxy S20 FE features a flat display instead of a curved display in other S20 flagships, which is something a lot of people prefer, so that's good. The front glass is different too, unlike the S20 phones, which had Gorilla Glass 6 on the front, the S20 FE has Gorilla Glass 3 front. Apart from the design, the Galaxy S20 FE is also different in terms of the camera. I mean, I already showed you the specs and well, as you can see, the S20 FE does not have a 64 megapixel telephoto lens or a 108 megapixel main camera or a time of flight sensor like the S20, S20 Plus or the S20 Ultra. And that's not all. It also cuts down on some of the camera features. So there's no 8K video support or support for 50X or 100X zoom. Honestly, I don't think the lower megapixel sensors or these missing features are a big deal because honestly, all that matters is the picture quality and that seems to be good. Now, other than that, the S20 FE comes with a 4,500 image battery, which is bigger than what you get on the S20 and the same as the S20 Plus. So those are the differences between the Galaxy S20 FE and other S20s. 
and you know what those aren't major big differences i mean it's clear that the galaxy s20 fe was supposed to be the galaxy s20 lite but from the looks of it samsung is clearly killing its lite branding in favor of fan edition smartphones and reports suggest that there will be a lot of other fan edition smartphones coming like the note 20 fe so that's great because if you ask me i like the galaxy s20 fe See, I like how the Galaxy S20 FE does not have any of the gimmicky features from the other S20 flagships, but brings all of the important flagship features we all want. So it's a very balanced approach and the phone should be fairly affordable too when compared to say the Galaxy S20, which starts at around 70,000 rupees in India. Now in the US, the Galaxy S20 FE has been priced at $699, which is around 50,000 rupees. So yeah, it should be kind of affordable. See, the Galaxy S20 FE seems like a very balanced flagship phone right now, but I think we'll have a better idea once we get to know the official Indian pricing. So yeah, I'm going to wait for that. Anyway, what do you think of the Galaxy S20 FE? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure to share this video around and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. <music>